Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and this is another episode of Kerbal Space Program. And I am his trusty sidekick, Taryn, ready to comment from the peanut gallery tonight. Apparently she's only Taryn the Terrible when I'm recording Minecraft. Okay, this is good to know. <laughs> um, alright, so, we still have our two missions out near Duna. Um, they both got a year or more to go before I do anything with them. So let's go and pull up our mission on the moon. Let's see. Wow, I've got a lot of stuff here. Uh, Apollo 0 0.1, there we are. We want to go to that mission. Please don't tip over when you load in. Please don't tip over when you load in. Oh, I need I'm ready to, to take my pills. Ah, my wife needed to take her pills. Yes, I medicate my wife. It's for her own good. Your oh. wife medicates herself. <laughs> okay, that settled in all right. It didn't tip over. And there was a little bit of wobbling there, but it, it survived. All right, so we need to find some more science. Which, I got Northwest Crater here. Um... Let me see. Map. So, we've got Northwest Crater. Let's just kind of aim for up there. Just kind of... Yeah. Just kind of fly out onto these Midlands out here. I don't know what biome that is exactly. We can kind of hop between these three with a stop in the intermediate as well. That should get us as many, much science as we can take home. Let me double check. I think. Ugh. Let's get out of my way. Let's see. Uh, close that down so I can see. Okay, yep, I did that one. And. I did that one, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, did I not collect that? Hmm. I need to collect that. I wonder if I gave up on that while we were tilted. I bet I did. Okay. Let us pull this up. Um, so, I think this is our orientation. Because I'm looking at the nav ball, I think this is close. Balls of nav. Yeah, there we go, like that. Okay. He didn't answer the question. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm about to try and take off with a rocket that's tipped over partly to the side. All right. And whose brilliant idea was that? Mine. I landed on the side of a crater. Yeah, not the smoothest move, but. Again, whose brilliant idea was that? I'm lucky I managed to land it at all. It was not going well. Okay, let's throttle up, like so. Okay, yep, um, let's get my SAS on. You're not getting your Freak on? No, I didn't install a Freak module on this. There is such a thing? No. Although someone could add one to the mod. Alright modders, get on it, we need a Freak module. Okay, let's see. I want to just kind of coast out over this way. Which... I can't see what my... Let's uh, get a little acceleration going here. I need to see what I'm do where I'm going. I kind of want to be on the 90 line, I think, which I think is this line. I can't see what my course is doing. No, that's the zero line. That's not the line I want to be on. I want to be on this line. And I want to rotate like so. There we go. Okay. So I want to be oriented like this visually. 
Okay, what is my terrain altitude? 3,700, okay. Let's go ahead and tip over quite a bit. My vertical speed, 90 meters per second. Let's go ahead and get all the way over on our sides. Vertical speed as to, opposed to horizontal speed. Indeed, as opposed to horizontal speed. I am flying a rocket after all. I thought that just hit it went boom. <laughs> That's only if I do things wrong. I'm trying to do things right. Okay, uh, I want a little more climb here. We're going to aim for like out in this area. Leaving behind my northwest crater marker. Which actually wasn't near the site of the crater, but boy was it not level ground. That was really bad. Kind okay. of a Kilroy was here sign on the moon. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna aim for out in this ish area, so I want to kind of push this way, I think. Yeah, like so. And now come back this way. I kind of want to put my apple apps or somewhere like right in this area down there. That's a good line. And let's cut it there. Okay. So I will let this coast over there. This is going to take a few minutes. Um, only a couple minutes actually. But... Uh, I'll do my maneuver roundabout there to pull this in. Like that. 379 meters per second. Uh, vessel, how much do I have? Hmm, we can't do very many more of these hops. In fact, this is probably the last one I should do. Yeah. It gives me 700 meters per second. That's actually cutting it really tight. Hmm. Actually, I'm concerned about whether or not we can get back with that, so I think we're actually going to abort the rest of this mission. Let me go ahead and just throttle up a little bit to get us into orbit. Um, we are going to observe that mystery goo. Okay, yep, let's keep the data. Let's observe a materials bay. Yep, keep the data. Um, and input. need more input. Number five is alive. Amen. Keep that data. I doubt this will have anything, but yeah, can't do an atmospheric pressure scan, right? Okay, I think I just went into orbit. Let's look at our orbital. Yeah, okay. Let's check that. That'll do. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Uh, lowest is 11. And actually, we're wanting to get back to Kerbin, so we actually want to burn right now. Um, hard this way. Like so. And pull out here. We just want to pull this orbit down. Like. Okay. It's a shame we have to leave, but I just didn't have the fuel to do another landing. I forgot how much more fuel the moon needs than uh, Minmus does. I just don't got the power. We well, did not have the power, Captain. Okay. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. Good enough. 
once I'm off this, I'll correct my periaps. Um, meanwhile, now that I'm in free space, uh, first of all, let's turn off my gear and my lights. Save some power. Let's see. Let's grab a crew report. Hope your kerbals aren't afraid of the dark. Keep that data. Let's send Jebediah out on an EVA. Since, you know, he's Jebediah. Take all that data. And store all of it, just to reset it. Then... EVA report. 24 more science. And... store. Okay. The peanut gallery is really talkative tonight. You know it. Okay, get that free. All right, now I need to get down and collect this stuff. So, turn on his RCS. And where are the vertical translation? Um, I don't know where vertical translation is. No, I don't want that. Ah, vertical translation is control and shift. Okay. From what language to what? <laughs> From polar to rectilinear. Uh, I don't know the planets that speak those languages. <laughs> Okay, I want to get close enough to take the data from this. Collect data. Yep, remove the data. Um, and I need to get around to that one as well. But... Let's see... To this as well, I think. Wow, I'm having a hard time flying him. Okay, there we go. I don't know if there's any science to grab from this. Uh, I'm thinking there's no science in this. Yeah, I'm right, right against it, and there's nothing. No, So slide around to this side. Ooh, ooh. Come on, Matthew. Calm down. Calm down. There we go. Gotta be really careful. How's his fuel doing? Okay, still got plenty. Come on, get close enough to collect the data. Collect data. Yep. Okay. Oop, oop, back off, back off. Okay. Um, I think I just need...
this. have that one already. Okay. Let's fly over the top here. And drop down. Okay, this is really, really finicky. There we go. Collect data. Okay, I think that's all the science I had stored in those. So let's just fly up here. And where's my grapples to reattach myself to the command pod? There we go. And board. Um, I, I think it's the crew report I can't store, so board anyway. Let's see. How are we looking? We have 10 stored data. Nice. Um, all right. Our altitude is 190, so can we get a new crew report? Crew report. Yeah, new crew report. Nice. Um, okay. I think it's time to head back to Kerbin. Um, this is going to be kind of a long, boring flight as I head all the way back. So I will cut to the landing and we will check and see how much science we got. And yeah, with that, I will be back in just a minute. Okay, we are back. We are coming down through 10 kilometers, and I will be popping the parachute here shortly. Um, in fact, I'll probably go ahead and just pop it now. There we go. This is pretty rough terrain we're coming down in. Hopefully we don't land on too steep a slope. It would suck to roll down the hill and have the pod get killed. I see ground scatter, so we're coming in pretty low now. Um, anyway, we will very shortly here see just how much science we got for that moon landing. And those, no, no, I only had the one landing on this run. I did get some orbital science around the moon, though, so that should help. This, that valley looks familiar, actually. I think Scott Manley landed a mission over there, if I remember right. Oh, and before I recover the mission, I should have one of these guys hop out and get, like, a uh, soil sample. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't been to this biome before. So, that would be... that'll help. Get us a little science, anyway. What's the science for? For researching new things. New rocket parts. It's not for blinding people? No, it's not for blind... well, I guess you could blind people with your rockets. <laughs> Especially the nuclear rockets. And... Katunk. Alright, we are down. Uh, can I get a crew report for here? I bet I can. Uh, crew report. No, do not overwrite the existing one. The existing one is much more important. EVA! And EVA report. <laughs> Keep the data. And... Store the data. And... Space. <laughs> Fall down. There we go. And 
student EVA report, keep the data, and surface sample, keep the data. There we go. Grab. Grab. There we go. And board. All right, let's recover the vessel and see just how much science we got and wonder who sent me a message. That was probably Noir, I'm guessing. We got 485 science on that mission. That's a good amount. Let's see. What can we get with that science? What did I want to get with that science? Um, nuclear engines would be good. I could get those. Um, I could get that stuff. Let's see, 160. Yeah, I could get like one from this tier and two from this tier. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the nuclear rockets. Research that. Because that gets us a very, very good rocket engine for deep space missions. And I've got 350 left. Hmm. Ah, yes, the better solar panels. Definitely want that. 190 left. Uh, a better landing strut and another parachute. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, there we go. Three new things of science, some new rocket parts. Um, Take ooh. it from John Travolta, it's always good to strut. <laughs> okay, the peanut gallery is in fine form tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, that gets me access to rover parts soon. That's good. Um, this gets me... Uh, let's see, there's a seismic accelerometer I could get access to there. More battery stuff. I can't see what's there. Um, can't you just buy the Energizer, buddy? <laughs> uh, and... Yeah, so we've got a few things to shoot for here, um, but we should be able to build a rocket that can do a lot more now that I have these new parts. Um, this, the atomic rocket motor, is very good for long-range missions. Um, I'll probably send some probes out towards Jewel, um, maybe some of the other, like, who else is out system? I don't remember the planets, all of them. Let's take a look. Um, zoom out. There we go. So, send a mission to Jewel, maybe one to Elu. Um, I could send a probe to each of those three and pick up a bunch of science. Um, that would be very helpful. But I think I'm going to call it there for this episode. It's a little bit shorter than usual, but we accomplished a good goal. And, yeah. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um... And as I've mentioned in my uh, Minecraft videos, I am attempting to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Um, my, I have a personal goal currently of $100 and a team goal of $250, but I might be raising those. Because thanks to two very generous donors, I already have $50 raised, and I'm not doing my marathon gaming session until October. Um, <laughs> so I'll put some info in the end card. Um, and in the video description. And if you have a little bit of spare cash, $5, whatever, uh, it would really help. I would greatly appreciate it. And the children, you know, they'll appreciate, they'll appreciate it. it. They won't know that you did it, but they'll still appreciate it, and their families will. And yeah, that's about it. So again, thank you for watching. My name is Utoxin. This has been another episode of Utoxin Plays Kerbal Space Program. And I will see you next time.